supply. So what is stopping you? Ah, that is not good. We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the Gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there. Captain Marvel was right on the... Ah, heroes. A single world-ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. Oh, that's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it and see for ourselves. I'm on it. I feel great. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. Your time has come. Hail that. The labor and service has ordered. a scratch. They haven't had enough yet. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faustus, and I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. That's how that works. Accept your fate. No time to repent.
will be judged. Engaging target. As long as I get to hit you back. Someone's hurt bad. Looks like they want to try a few more. The last thing we need is for that pompous buffoon to win today. Stop that, Chopper. Please. With pleasure. You did not think I was done, did you? The light's gift. Welcome, assistance. Bell Hydra! Your strikes ring hollow. For victory! I'm gonna regret that. Your death won't be in vain. Our loyal soldiers aren't the simple punching bags you've come to expect, are they? Somehow these humans, these mere mortals, dare to stand against ye fearsome gods! All is possible with mother! Your suffering begins. That should keep them grounded. Now let's get everything back to the Abbey for analysis. Such arrogance. Our brave soldiers will never allow you. Oh, shut up already. Take them down. to wear me down. Looks like someone could use a hand. For years, 
I was considered a crazed zealot in the Hydra Cabal, obsessed with the old ways. But then we detected the convergence of the Midnight Sun. Tell me about it. Actually, please do not tell me. Weak, even for Hydra. Many still await my judgment. will not be pleased with your efforts. Like that's the last of them. Last? <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. Count on it. Feeling a chill, Magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky, trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. You were trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the transdimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. 
What did you see, Ileana? I did not see, I said. I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in Limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. We should inform the others of any potential danger. Warn them of what? One of Magic's airy-fairy gut feelings? The Avengers are already unsure of us. I do not need to add to that. Best not to say anything until I am better able to articulate it. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. I still have a lot of thinking to do, while I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo. I will let you know if I do. What's up, Big H? Whenever we foil Hydra's plans, an angel gets its wings. I am not above celebrating the end of some real bad people. deal. I can't figure him out. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like him, but then he turns into a burning psycho when we're on mission. Have you spent any time with him outside of a mission? No, I spend too much of my time in the war room. If you want to figure him out, just talk to him. You're not wrong. All right, I'll do it. What are you thinking? Challenging him to an arm wrestling contest? Maybe a video game before that? Yeah, good call. It's rare that I have that much fun.
I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered, together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. Hunter. Hello. There's something you need to read. You said something earlier, about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are. One of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, 
deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here. No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. Why do I feel like you were going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Fascinating. What is this? Intriguing. Is one of the elemental rods. <laughs> Haven't played anything other than flight simulators in years. Now they have walking simulators? Jeremiah Kane, another host of the Spirit of Vengeance. 
I wonder if he was as conflicted as Robbie is about being a ghostwriter. She believes in our purpose. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. <sighs> Hocus Pocus. Oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush, and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. Magic still holds.
I see you found one of the elemental rods. If you'd like to keep going, you may keep searching for more. Hmm? What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much. But I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. What do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves, I like to think of a Moon Seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person. Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? Well, I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And Caretaker used the words as well. Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey Grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Curious. Elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. I needed that. 
Relaxing. cracks in this wall. The goddess must be busy. Noble Oshter guides my hand.
Perhaps I should try this somewhere else. What's Wanda up to here? Goddess of Order approves. This looks like a fairy ring. Just what I was looking for. does not work. One more to go.
blessings of the goddess. Another elemental rod. There, finished. The moon seals are ancient talismans of the old gods. And in your case, they are the keys to unlocking an even greater gift. Is that why Wanda was here? In pursuit of this gift? Just as we started with you as a child, I allowed Wanda to experiment here, with the hope of focusing her powers through training in basic elemental magic. But that is not what happened. Wanda's connection to the old gods, to C'thon, was not the same as yours. She isn't descended from the blood, and the trials weren't meant for her. But you knew this before she started. I did. And you should understand that I regret not putting a stop to her efforts sooner. Then what really happened here? When Wanda tried to use this moon seal to access the next trial, the Bloodgate didn't open. But the seal's power did have an effect. She had visions, both terrible and somehow alluring at the same time. What started as idle curiosity, became a compulsion for her. And now I am on the same path. So, where is the next Bloodgate? Beyond the Standing Stones, if memory serves. I doubt you'll have any trouble finding it. We may have woken you up to save the world, but just think where the Abbey would be without your efforts, Hunter. The magical energies flowing through the grounds are converging on the altar, drawn to it like moths to a flame. As a child, it never occurred to me how important this altar was to you. Where would a fabled witch be without her various accoutrements? Just as your swords are an extension of your power, so too are my altar, the cauldron, and the library. And now that the altar has been restored? It's time we start using them to our advantage. Come by the library tomorrow night, and we'll conjure something together. Oh, and thank you again for the help, dear. Good girl, Charlie. years it is good to see your face again wish I could say the same mother now enough with this deception and reveal your true form but this is my true form the way I was when you were just a sweet helpless little baby you don't remember that do you well I do bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life and taking you out of this world again will be mine. 
I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you. You need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you... Was that really her?